A new mid journey update was released last night. Let me show you how to go from this to this. Pretty cool, right? Now this update really just brought back some old features we've been missing. That includes in painting, also known as vary by region. We can once again zoom out by 2x, 1.5x, or a custom value. And we have access to the pan feature in every direction. And for this example, I used an 1850s oil painting of a sports car with neon lights. First, let me show you why the return of the pan feature is such a big deal and then we'll talk about in painting and there is an extra new feature that I'll tell you about at the end you do not want to miss that if you want to have your voice heard first let's start by panning down and we'll be presented with these options now the real difference between the old pan and the new pan is more coherence previously if we were to pan down we might see a new sports car with neon lights because that is what's in the prompt now mid journey knows we just want more of this exact scene with the frame extended ended down. From here we'll make another selection to upscale. I chose number one. And the extra special thing about this update is that all of the features are still here. Before we could only pan in similar directions, left and right or up and down. Now we have access to all of them all of the time. That is so amazing. So let's pan up and see what we find. Our scene is starting to come together. And what's really cool is that it updates the aspect ratio in real time as you generate. But I want to keep going. So I chose number one. And now let's move the frame to the right. I don't think there was a bad option here, but I went with number four. Now let's bring it back to a landscape ratio by panning to the left. Whoa, I just got more goosebumps. Look how cool these are. We started with that zoomed in picture of the car and now we get to choose between these. I liked number one a lot, but I think I went with number three because of this curvy windy road. I just like the look of it. And that's how we're gonna go from this to this. Isn't that so cool? And if you're new here, my name is Nolan. It's my goal to make learning AI as straightforward as possible. If you've learned something new so far, please leave a like on this video so we can share it with more people. I need your help with that. Thanks. We'll go back to the base picture and I'll show you what zooming out looks like. Here's our car. We'll zoom out 1.5 and 2. Definitely a fan of 1.5. 2 zooms out a lot and it's basically the same result as if we were to just pan in every direction. Pan might give you more control over each section while zooming out might get you there a little quicker. It's really up to you. But I do want to share this trick you can do with custom zoom. It's going to open up a prompt box and here we can change the aspect ratio to anything we want. But the most important thing you need to do is change the zoom from two to one. Now when you hit submit, again, you could pan in both directions, but this will get you to your target ratio much quicker and more precisely. There's also a make square button that will literally just turn this frame square. You can achieve that by going into custom zoom as well. Just don't forget about that. Now I want to show you what very region can do. This is of course in painting where you'll be able to make a selection on the image with either the rectangle tool or the lasso tool and you'll be able to change your prompt in this box down here. This prompt box should always appear if it doesn't try turning remix on in your settings. So we're going to select the car and then we can prompt for whatever we want like a Batmobile and we might get something like these. Pretty cool so far but I do want to note that you can include stylized values and chaos values while you're in painting. Here's the Batmobile at S400. Again, pretty cool. You could try S40 or you could simply try Chaos 20 and look at number four, the Tumblr. Like that is amazing. I like number three a lot as well. Oh, I just got more goosebumps. I had so much fun with in painting so far. Please let me know if you find any tricks along the way. I changed the car to a dragon and this is how it turned out. And here's a dragon with Chaos 20. I like that it kept the same vibe and color scheme. Okay, there's actually three more things I want to show you. Let's skip ahead to a common problem in version six. You want to see a person, but it gives you a very zoomed in look on your character. Now with these new features, all we have to do is pan down to see the rest of our character. Granted, all four of them were not perfect, but I think number one got the job done. Once we upscale it, we'll pan down again. And then look at these. Look how cool that looks. I think that did an amazing job, and now we can expand to the left or right to fill out the screen. But then look at this image. I'd love to see the rest of this character, so I pan down, but look what happens. These don't look quite right. Let's go back to the original. It's because these cinematic black bars were in the generation. So what I did was go into very region and I simply selected the top and the bottom. I didn't change any part of the prompt and I hit enter. That created these. Look how good those are. I chose number one and now when I went to pan down it had no problems at all. Amazing. And we're left with something like this. 
But now check out what you can do. I selected the area around that sword and I was able to turn it into a lightsaber. These don't look amazing, but that's a pretty cool use case for in painting. And for the prompt, I changed it to a fierce warrior holding a lightsaber, but apparently that's not the only way you have to do it. I tried the same thing, erased the whole prompt and I wrote a lightsaber and it also worked out pretty well. So keep in mind, play around with it, and let me know if you find any good prompting techniques. Now I wanna show you an old trick that might still work, but I'm not entirely sure. We're back at the car, we're gonna go into very region, and this time we're going to select the entire frame. Now when we hit enter, it's going to inpaint a completely new picture. And the reason you might wanna do this is because previously, inpainting used a different algorithm. A slightly different algorithm, but different nonetheless and this was the only way you'd have access to it. So by doing that, I was able to generate these images. I'm not sure if this is an entirely new algorithm, but it's fun to play with. We also have these, these. I did this a lot because I really like the results. Ooh, look how cool these are. Number one, number, oh. Amazing. Now the final thing that came with this update is a brand new feature. If you go into your prompt box and you hit forward slash feedback, hit enter, this pop-up will appear. You're able to set what you think should be the three highest priorities for the mid-journey team. They actually recommend you be very specific. So maybe I could improve what I wrote. My priority number one, and these are subject to change. I kind of just filled it out quickly last night, but I'm thinking I want character consistency from scene to scene. Meaning if you have a character with a blue jacket and a specific haircut, you're able to see that character in different scenes, no matter the art style. Children's drawing, photorealistic, watercolor, it doesn't matter. Having the same character would be really important. But then I also think that having more than one consistent character is also a big deal. What's the point of keeping one character the same if you can't have the rest of the scene the same? And then I was thinking, being able to keep a consistent character with a consistent style. I know they're working on both of these separately, but I really hope we'll be able to combine them together. Again, what would be the point if you couldn't do this? But then if you scroll down, you're able to rate priorities from other people. Full API for image generation. Do you strongly disagree with that? Do you disagree with that? How do you feel about it? Are you neutral? Do you agree? Are you really for it? This collective intelligence system is going to combine everyone's answers and they're going to go over these at the office hours next week. I'm pretty sure they're going to review these weekly. So that could be some amazing insight into where mid journey is going don't forget there are some free version 6 pdfs in the description below if you want more in painting tips i really suggest you watch this video here i hope you're doing well take care and i'll see you next time peace